everyone and welcome back it's the next day and these mushrooms are dry check that out you see that yeah this one looks really good I'm excited so I think I'm just gonna paint all the mushrooms with like red caps and make them all the same color but yeah I'm gonna start that in a little bit also check out this necklace with my little mask on it um, I got a made a while ago I collaborated with someone but I have something to show you that I might start start doing, so let me show you. Okay, so this is a little charm I had made of a moth, and I it's just a little prototype, but I wanna make uh, necklaces out of little characters and stuff. And I also made, um, I've been making these little mushrooms in a jar. Hold on, I'll show you. Let me find the top for it. Yeah, so there it is, and then like it have a chain going on it as another little jewelry piece. But this is a little grimy, I'll have to clean it up. But I might have those in my shop update as well. But eventually I want to work with like a local jeweler and like make some like really nice jewelry pieces inspired by my artwork. So yeah, hopefully that will come out next year, not sure, but I'd like it to. Okay, so I'm going to be using acrylic paints to paint my mushrooms and I'm very tempted to paint one of them with glitter. Look how pretty that is. What? Come on. Glitter mushroom? Heck yes. As I stated in a previous video, I don't really have a lot of acrylic paint brushes. I'm sure this sponge brush will work just fine. So let's use this buddy. Um, I'm gonna start painting the bases of them. I have this uh, color that I'll be using. And then we can paint the caps. Like so. It'll probably take a few uh, coats to paint, to get them all painted. And they're not perfect, like they're still a little, you know, misshapen, but that's kind of cool. It looks very homemade. I kind of like that style, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go and paint the rest of these and then we'll let them dry and I'll start on the caps with the red. Okay, see that light is coming in more, but I have all these, the bottoms painted. I'm probably gonna do one more coat uh, yeah, um, but the tree topper I decided on is going to be a moth, so I want to start making that, um, and I have like, I think I'll just make it out of paper mache, but I'm excited, I think it'll look really cool. Okay, so I drew out some wings, so I'm gonna have like a top layer wing and a bottom layer wing, and I'll cut these out, I have an exacto knife, where did I, I keep losing my knife. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut them out with my exacto knife and then cut another one out in the same shape. I just found my knife. Hold on. Okay, so we have the cardboard all cut out. So this was what I had in mind, like you know, kind of a 3D effect, and then I'm gonna make the body out of paper mache. And I really I don't know what to do about the wings if I should also paper mache the sides so they're a bit smoother. I might do that. Like yeah, tape them off and see. Oh yeah. So the body, we're gonna use foil again. And then I'm gonna scrap it up. We're gonna probably need a lot of foil for this, the body of it. Yeah, see, it kind of looks like a chicken leg right now. But I'm gonna form this and then I'll show you what it looks like with the wing. Yeah, so I wrapped this body up and I'm gonna paper mache that. And I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and paper mache the wings, just like at least just around the edges to smooth it out. But another problem arrived is how do I attach the wings to the body? And I'm thinking about, uh, I have to get some hard wire put it in there and then we can just kind of stick it in, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna get feathers for the antenna. 
yeah, back to my mushrooms for now. Okay, so the mushrooms are all painted now. And I got these um, little paint pens to make the white dots for them. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. And then add some detail on the bottom of the mushroom. Yeah. Okay, so now that I have all the spots on them, I'm gonna use my Sharpie pen to kind of add some details to it. Kind of like under the mushroom cap and everything. Zero. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, okay, so the mushrooms are all dried. They're all ready to go but I bought this uh, red yarn so I can attach it to the tree. I might, yeah, make this smaller. Oh, I also have a tree coming, so that should be in in a couple of days. Um, trees are so expensive, kind of a, I don't know, they shouldn't be that expensive. Okay, look, it's done. Oh, also my shirt is very appropriate for um, this, but, Ta-da! He has, I gave him a little face. There, see? Okay, yeah, so these are, I think it might be too big for my tree, but this is what I have so far. Um, it's, so I got the body. I attached it with uh, wire, like the wings and the body with wire. And then I'm going to paper mache all this and then add feathers for the antenna. And then it should be ready. It should be like a perfect, Tree topper. I love him. But yeah, that will be in my next video. And in my next video, I'm gonna have this finished and then my tree all put together. So, but yeah, until next time.